Someone give this man a corkscrew. Next. CapeCast. Howdy, folks. I'm Eric Williams, and welcome to CapeCast, the official webcast of the Cape Cod Times for May 14th. Meet a saber-wielding champagne opener in the second half of the show. But first, let's take a look at news. In the scrappy grandma department, Carol McManus of Sandwich got into hot water with the town dump after she snagged a child's bike off the scrap metal pile recently. McManus planned to donate the bike to a needy family, but the dump has a strict no-picking policy and the bike was returned to the pile. In the Wake Up With A Bang department, a potentially explosive device was found in the basement of a Brewster residence last night, prompting the evacuation of several residents in the vicinity of Colonial Way. Check CapeCodOnline.com today for more details on this story. And also check out today's Cape Cod Times newspaper for a cutting-edge food section story about Chatham's Kevin Howard, one of only 36 North American members of the prestigious Club des Sabreurs. What does that mean? He opened champagne bottles with a saber. Check it out. Kevin, we're knee deep in champagne here at the Cape Cod Times. Thanks to you. Can you tell us what we just saw? What you saw was the Napoleonic tradition of champagne sabering. Uh, this goes back to Napoleon and the time when he was friends with Jean Remy Moet, the mayor of Epernay. And they would sit around and drink champagne, and then one night, Napoleon decided that it was taking too long to open the champagne, so he saved it off the top of a bottle. But Kevin, how did you get involved in this? I was trained by the master sabreur from Moet et Chandon. His name was Robert Gordin. He was actually on Oprah at one time because he had one of the 10 best jobs in the world, which was to go to every special event in the world and saber champagne. Can you tell me a little bit about your saber? My saber is a traditional French uh, battle saber. Uh, it has been engraved and given to me personally because you know how difficult it is to mix your saber up with other people's sabers when you're at events, so uh, I know it's mine. Can anything go wrong uh, with this? Uh, I have the be best OSHA r record of all these sabreurs, uh, but yes, I have seen bottles explode, I've seen shards of glass go flying, uh, and I've seen corks hit people in the head. So. Uh, this morning, savoring went perfectly. And is there anything else that has a wow factor more than savoring off a champagne bottle top? Uh, not much more. Uh, the, the most fun part is watching the champagne explode out of the bottle. A lot of people ask me the question about whether they can drink the champagne out of the bottle, and of course they can because there's 33 per square inch of pressure in the bottle that blows all the shards out. And we here at CapeCast were so impressed with Kevin's steely-edged prowess that we decided to try it ourselves on a two-liter bottle of Sprite. Now let's toast the world of sports. Hey, the sticks are always flying in boys high school lacrosse, and yesterday Cape Cod Academy stuck it to Falmouth Academy 11 to eight. Now let's check the all-important Cape and Islands weather forecast, backed by busy downtown Wellfleet video. For tonight, clear with a low around 41, and for Thursday, mostly sunny with a high near 61. Okay, we've got to get out of here. This has been Cape Cast for May 14th. Till next time, see ya. Cape Cast.